Hey guys, so one of the pieces of feedback that I got from you is that if I do a live stream, you kind of want me to break up some of the topics into individual videos. Well, Dr. Know-It-All, aka John Gibbs, and I talked about a topic from this book, The Elon Musk Mission, and it was actually a question that one of my viewers brought up about when will Tesla utilize the incredible HVAC technology that they have to save you money and have an incredibly efficient system? System. I, I think the problem for Tesla has always been the problem for Tesla, which is they just have so many irons in the fire. It, it, honestly, if I were a company like um, um, Carrier or whoever, if I was like one of those companies, I would have been in talks with Elon ages ago and says, can we please license this technology right. and build it to your specs and what you want, but we'll do it and we'll split the profits with. because, because Tesla clearly doesn't have time to focus on this. So the question is, will Tesla make super efficient home HVAC with HEPA filters one day? Well, Elon once upon a time tweeted that it will happen but a good question is when this seems like something that could be on the back burner and would make sense to be on the back burner as Elon is currently training to fight Mark Zuckerberg and transforming Twitter uh, into the X platform, the everything app. So when will we see Tesla utilize this technology for your home? Not sure, but this is something that I talked about recently with Dr. Know-It-All, so let's get into it. Well, Anthony, thank you for the also generous super chat. Can you ask about the potential for new heat pump tech from Tesla as the next mode? Home heating and potentially more services with advanced heat pump tech may be a massive potential no one is looking at. It was talked about on Battery Day, and I want to give a little bit more context to this term of mode because I actually read the book that you're uh, featured in um, with Lars, uh, Dr. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. You had yeah. some portions of this book basically talking about mostly Tesla and why they have so many moats, right? This idea that they are protected from their competitors in several different ways, you know, um, future proofing them, right? So uh, let's talk about that. Um, any insights on that? So yeah, it, interestingly enough, the so if people don't know, a heat pump can actually be more than a hundred percent efficient, which is super cool. It, and what so um, like a, a traditional heater, like a gas heater in somebody's basement or something, that burns natural gas, and then there's a fan that blows that heat into the house to heat things up. That can never be even a hundred percent efficient because you can never get all of the energy out of the gas that's burning into your house. Yeah. But a heat pump, on the other hand, it just literally pumps heat. <laughs> so if it's hot outside and you want it cold in your house, you just pump the cold part of that air. Because air, even though the temperature might be hot, there's still molecules of air that are slow. And so what you do is you run that through a compressor and you're able to move heat from the outside into the inside of the house, even though it's hot and of course opposite land when it's cold outside. So heat pumps are like, they can be more than 100% efficient, which is super cool, so, which is why Tesla, you know, if you think about um, heating up your car, if you use gasoline engines have a big advantage in this case, because they generate heat because they, the, you know, the engine's just hot because it's burning gas. And so you siphon that off and you put it in the car and you heat your car up. But for uh, but for a Tesla, you'd have to use a resistive heater, which is what the old Model S is, Model X is, et cetera. Uh, they used resistive heaters, but now they use heat pumps so they could, there we go. <laughs> lots and lots of moats in that book. Lots <laughs> there of moats. There is a chapter about that. Yeah. Yeah. And and so heat pumps are just amazing technology. It's amazing. I've got two of them sitting outside right now working hard because it's warm outside and uh, and it keeps the house nice and cool. So um, so the deal is, though, that Tesla has designed tiny heat pumps. So heat pumps have been around for a long time. I mean, you know, there's like if you live in the south, and I'm sure your apartment complex has heat pumps. That's what you use. So uh, uh, you, you have these boxes and they the fans go and all that stuff, but Tesla managed to miniaturize it in a tiny little space like this big. Um, and so the deal would be that what they could do would be to generate probably something along the lines of like a mini split. And, and that's like a heat pump. Mini splits are like small heat pumps. So like I have like one that's like a whole upstairs and a whole downstairs. So it's huge. Um, and so what you could do with Tesla technology was be to take a bunch of small ones and just put one like behind me there, one in the other room, one in the other room. So that you could then, as you 
are like, I'm going to bed. The rest of the house can be hot as crap. And I just want my bedroom to be cold, which is the advantage of a mini split. And so if you had this like really cool heat pump technology in small packages, as opposed to these giant ones, you could duct it to follow you around all day and all night and keep it warm and cool where you are and nowhere else, which means it's much more efficient. So that's the, the benefit of it. Yes. Well, in Chapter 45, a coming attractions, Dojo, AAS. Um, what I know SaaS is software as a service. What is AAS? Uh, autonomy as a service. Autonomy as a service. Yeah, yeah. Used cars, HVAC, and VTOL. So they talk about the HVAC um, in this book. And I think if I'm remembering correctly, yeah, Elon Musk has teased more than a few times that an HVAC heating, ventilation, air conditioning system might be coming in 2023. So obviously this is a little outdated. <laughs> uh, offering a home heating, air conditioning, water heater, air filtration system using a sophisticated heat pump approach has been on the table ever since the company invented the octo valve to move air and fluids around the cars. The concept is cool, but... Um, yeah, we don't. I think, yeah. So Elon Musk did reply to a tweet um, saying that it will happen. Uh, Elon Musk quote said, we will make super efficient home HVAC with HEPA filters one day. So maybe right. it's something that he's working on in the background. We don't know. I, I think the problem for Tesla is always been the problem for Tesla, which is they just have so many irons in the fire. It, it, honestly, if I were a company like, um, um, carrier or whoever if i was like one of those companies i would have been in talks with elon ages ago and says can we please license this technology right. and build it to your specs and what you want but we'll do it and we'll split the profits with because because tesla clearly doesn't have time to focus on this but they've built the technology it already exists and it's so much easier to do it for a house because you don't have to run it off a of battery you just plug it into a standard you know like home outlet so right. it's like so much easier to run uh, an air conditioner in a house with all of that power. Uh, so I don't know why somebody hasn't done that. Tesla maybe eventually will get around to it, but. Well, yeah. thanks for the question, Anthony. I think that was a yeah. really great good question. question and really good something question, yeah. that, yeah, maybe I should make a video about. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, actually that was one of the, um, that was one of the pieces of feedback that I got, right? So we're over an hour right now into this live right. stream. And one of the pieces of feedback is, hey, Ellie, I don't always want to watch one to two hours of commentary. Can you maybe splice out segments and make a video? So that would be a great subject right there because not everyone, you know, we got right. 430 people watching right now, but that's right. not my whole channel. Now, keep in mind, I'm planning on doing more live streams because it seems like you guys really enjoy interacting on those live streams and I enjoy interacting with you. I will be gone at the end of month. I'm actually going to Spain, so I'm not gonna be quite as active during that trip because I really just want to enjoy my time on vacation. However, uh, I do have more live streams planned before that time and after. So thank you to everyone who is a supporter of Ellie in Space. I do appreciate you being along for the ride and hopefully you enjoy uh, videos like this one.